Hi everyone, large language model is definitely a trend in these days and I will summarize one of interesting LLM related paper in this video. The title of the paper today is Small Models are Valuable Plugins for Large Language Model. Large language models aka LLM such as GPT-4 or GPT-3 are powerful and made people shocked in these days but their weights are often not available. Even if you have weights, the model size is too big to fine-tune which also requires big amount of money. This is a real problem when you deal with large language model training with your limited budget. If the budget is not your problem, then now you can train and use one of LLM for your product. But here I want to tell you that the most power of LLM is coming from prompt, which we technically call it in context learning. The more examples in prompt helps LLM to output relevant results, but unfortunately LLM has a limit on prompt size. Therefore, directly using LLM has a limit to provide the best result for your product even if you adopt LLM with huge budget. This paper is proposing a promising solution with a plugin small ML model before LLM. They used Roberta as a small model to plug into LLM, and obviously it took less time and less money but outperformed than LLM or single Roberta model. They called this plugin solution as a super in context learning, aka super ICL, because this plugin model helps in context learning super efficiently, I believe. Let's take a deep breath and see how this plugin makes LLM input better. First, they didn't touch LLM. Second, they only trained the robot model to predict labels with confidence for the in context example. Third, concatenate the robot model's output with in-context example. Concatenating fine-tuned ML model's output with in-context examples are the key concept of this paper. The small model serves as a bridge between the LLM and the task-specific data, allowing for effective knowledge transfer. This approach actually achieved superior performance compared to state-of-art fine-tuned model or LLMs. Because small model reserves the LLMs in context learning's instability problem while keep LLMs to focus on more general language understanding. One interesting point from LLM side is that they made LLM to provide explanation for why it overrides predictions made by plugin model when LLM overrides small model's prediction. Here is a clear picture of a comparison between traditional LLM and Super ICL which is a small model plugged in before LLM. First, let's take a look at traditional LLM way, which is in the upper side of this diagram marked as ICL, aka in context learning. When we ask LLM, we generally give a few examples before asking questions. From the diagram, the input with the ground truths are the few examples before asking real questions. And the test input is the real question. Let me give you for example if I want to ask is a cat an animal? We will need to give few examples like dog is an animal, tiger is an animal, computer is not an animal, then ask is cat an animal for LLM to answer within the in context. Now let's look at the plugin approach at the bottom side of this diagram. The few examples and the real question firstly go into the plugin model, and the plugin model outputs prediction with confidence. In contrast to the traditional approach, we can see the in context example and real question now with the plugin model's prediction and its confidence. LLM takes this in context example with real question and outputs a final prediction with explanation. The explanation helps why the LLM overrides plugin model's prediction which is improving interpretability of LLM. For whom still need more clarification, here I prepared pseudocode of how this plugin approach works. Let's denote the training set is D, LLM as M, and small pre-trained model P. After fine-tune P on D, we obtain fine-tuned plugin model P prime. Random sample from D and call it in context example D prime. Collect plugin model's prediction and confidence score on the in context example. 
concatenate the init context example with the plugin model's prediction and confidence score, let's call this as C. Now we will test with test data. The test data also goes in plugin model and outputs prediction and confidence score. We concatenate in context example with plugin model's output with test data along with plugin model's output for the test data. This concatenated data goes to LLM. And if LLM's prediction is different from the plugin model, ask M to generate an explanation for overriding the prediction of plugin model. Now let's look at the real example. The test task is to check if given two sentences are equivalent or not. They use the prompt to ask the LLM model to explain the decision if the label predicted by the plugin model is overridden. And from this example, we can see the LLM clearly explains why the LLM overrides the plugin's prediction. From this table, it is very impressive that the proposed approach outperforms from all glue tests against GPT 3.5 or Robotar large model. This is the end of the paper summary. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. The key points are, first, LLM is extremely hard to fine-tune, and even the prompt limits your few-shot examples. So rather than fine-tuning LLM directly, or rather than limiting few-shot learning examples to LLM, just plug in fine-tuned machine learning models before LLM, and provide the LLM few-shot examples with the plugin model's knowledge on it. Thanks, and see you on the next video.